Hello guys, it's Ademola from SPSSBoss.com. The cluster bar graph is more complicated than the simple bar graph, simply because it allows you to use more variables compared to the simple bar graph, and it's usually used when you're looking for interaction between two or more variables based on a particular construct. Now, in this cluster bar example, what we're going to do is that we're going to look at the interaction between gender and group. So we want to find out if whether someone is male or female and whether they are healthy or asthmatic, does that affect their weight? Now, let's go to graph, chat builder, click on OK, drag in the cluster bar into the chat preview. So in the X axis, let's put in the group, whether they are healthy or asthmatic. Now, in the cluster on X, let's put in the gender of the participant. And in the count, we're going to put in the weight, which is our dependent variable. So we want to see if the interaction between the patient's group and gender can affect or will affect the weight. The cluster graphs are sometimes used after you've done an inferential statistics like your ANOVA or chi-square of association and then you want to show a simple graph that can give your reader an illustration of the difference between your groups of interest based on the dependent variable. We can change this from mean to any other values just like I showed you in the simple bar graph but let's leave it at mean. On the x-axis we say patient group but here we can change that if we want and just say patient and remove the group. Patients remove the group. On the y axis, yes, we always apply all the changes. On the y axis, we can change it to weight because main subject weight appears to be too long. You apply that change as well. And group color bar as well, sex, we change it from sex to gender and apply that as well. So close this window and as you can see, we have one of the categorical variable in the cluster on X, the second categorical variable in patient group, and the scale variable, which is the dependent variable on the Y axis. Now we click on OK and we would get a cluster bar graph. So as we can see with this graph, regardless of whether the male are healthy or asthmatic, they appear to always have higher weight than the female participants. But here's the interesting thing about this graph. You can see here, that the healthy participant have a slightly higher weight than the asthmatic participants for both male and female. So this graph allows you to get some interesting insight into your data. Now let's look at the last type of bar graphs in SPSS, which is the stacked bar graph. Suppose we were interested in looking at the difference between male and female when it comes to satisfaction with life. And satisfaction with life is a Likert scale that it is ordinal data, where we have one as very dissatisfied with life and five is very satisfied with life. Now, the way you do that is go into Graph, Chart Builder, click on OK, click on Reset. We reset everything we've done so far. Drag in that stack here into your chat preview. Now, on your stack set color, we want to put in the dependent variable in this case, which is satisfaction with life. So we want to see if satisfaction with life is different between male and female. So the x-axis is usually the categorical variable, which is gender in our case, always remember most of the time the x axis is usually used for the categorical variable. Now, here we have count, but we're not interested in count. We're interested in the percentage of male and female that are in each of the category of satisfaction with life. So, whether they are very satisfied, very dissatisfied, or neutral, we want to find that out. Now, we set the parameter. You can see that this percentage is empty. So, it's telling us set parameter. We're not interested in grand total. We want the total for each x axis category. So, the total for each of our male and female based on satisfaction with life. Now here you can change the bar style from bar to beam, but bar is usually better because it it's allows you to compare easily compared to the beam or the whisker. Now on the x-axis, let's apply these changes we've done so far. We change this to gender. You can always change it to anything. You can put male before female, or female before male, slide that across. On your y-axis, we, we apply the changes. We can put the percentage satisfaction here 
change it to whatever, apply that changes, and in the group color, which is satisfaction with life, you can just leave it the way it is. You can see, you see here, we have very dissatisfied first and very satisfied last. We can change the order of this. So let's move very satisfied to be the first variable of interest, followed by satisfied, followed by neutral, followed by dissatisfied, and then finally, the satisfied. Now, the easy way you can do this is obviously to, to sort, sort by label, sort by value, and you can sort ascending or descending, but I just showed you this so you can you can easily navigate and and if you want to remove any category click on X to remove any of the categories now click on apply close this window we're done with this window click on OK and we're going to get our result for the stack bar chart now here we go so it's interesting now with this chart here we can see that the the male are very satisfied with life compared to the female and when you're looking at the neutral, you can see there are more percentage of female in the neutral compared to the male. So that means that the female are quite indecisive when it comes to the satisfaction with life because most of them are in this group. Now, please note that this data is not a real data. It's a fictitious data that I designed so that you can see the difference between the simple cluster and the stack bar charts. So I'm in no way saying that male are more satisfied than female with life, but I want you to get the picture of why you will run this type of analysis. So here, as you can see, this is between 60 and 100%. We can say that 40% of our participants that are male are satisfied with life, very satisfied with life indeed, compared to only around 30% of female participants who are satisfied with life. 